Welcome back everyone, my name is Joe and today I'm going to be showing you how you can use World Edit and Will Guard on your server. Mainly in this tutorial we're going to be focusing on Will Guard, but you will need Will Edit. All the links are down below while you're down there, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the like button. So yeah, let's get this tutorial started. So then, if you don't know what Will Guard is, it is a protection uh, plugin. It's there to protect uh, your spawn your shop and certain regions on your server so players cannot touch them types of blocks so let's say you build a very nice house in spawn you don't want some player coming and griefing it so you end up protecting it with this so as I just did there I selected two corners of this square now I need to do the expand command so we'll go expand a thousand up and a thousand down so now that's gone all the way up and all the way down to select this region. And now we actually need to define it in WillGuard. So we can use region, D, and then a the name. So we'll use test. So region, uh, D stands for define. You can use uh, RG for region for the short, short way, like that. But it's up to you what you want to use. So we'll define that as test. So now if you get a piece of leather, in your inventory and you know we'll come out here and then as soon as you click on red block it will say we got a region there and as it says uh, can you build no and then it tells you the name this is very useful for looking for regions so sometimes you'll have a region overlapping another region it does happen uh, not very common but it can happen I, I do it a lot of times so then, now we need to tell it what to do so some things you can tell the region to do is not to spawn mobs in that area uh, not to allow TNT explosions and so on. So then, what we need to do is uh, we need to get that command back up. We're going to change the D to the F, and then I'll just I'll just do P and do this. So these are all the flags you can use. You can use uh, build, uh, block, uh, break, place, um, PVP, and so on. And the one we're going to be using is mob spawning and TNT wherever there are in this mess. So pick up items, there's lots of stuff you can use. And what we need to do, so we want to use TNT deny. Now TNT in this region is denied and it will list all the flags. So if we actually go and get some TNT out of inventory and place it down in the middle, we'll let it explode. And there we go nothing gets affected so it's very useful for blocking that type of stuff so now let's say we want to deny uh, mob spawning so mob dash uh, let's get it right spawning deny so uh, now now mobs will not spawn in this area they can spawn around it but not in this area so it's quite useful but let's say you want let's say you have a big region and then you want a certain region inside to allow mob spawning all you gotta do Instead of the deny, you want to do allow. And now it says TNT deny, mob spawning, allow. Or if you just don't want to do anything to do it, you can go none. And that removes the flag from this region. So that is the flag system. Now the next system I'm going to go over is actually how to add somebody to build in this area. So as you've been seeing when I click on the lever, it says can you build here? No, because I'm operator OP on the server you can build in this area but let's say if I want to change that uh, can you build to a no to a yes uh, you can add members and owners the difference between them members cannot add other members but owners can so hopefully you can understand that uh, so we'll uh, go back up to this top command and we'll change the F and we'll go add member test and then we'll just do the name so we'll look over that again so region Add member space the region name so this box what we made and then the player's name so now when we go over here can you build yes but let's say I want to add my let's say you add want, want to add one of your admins to owner in this area so it's instead of member it is just owner and now there is owner in this area so yeah that is pretty much it guys so it's that's what you really need to do so it's only a short tutorial there is a lot more features in here but that's the main ones you want to be using on your server so hopefully you've enjoyed and uh, you might have noticed I haven't been uploading I have been very ill and I've still got very still not feeling the best but yeah 
Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, always suggest your tutorials down in the comments, please. I like to hear your suggestions because video ideas, not always the best person to uh, make them up. But anyway, guys, the next tutorial will be uh, probably World Edit, going over how to, you know, remove blocks in big amounts and maybe some more plugin showcases. So, yes, once again, guys, thank you. Make sure to subscribe, like, favourite, go and find me on Twitter, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.